all right guys um welcome to another video this here is literally the only thing you guys ever talk about and so i thought it was high time to um uh, make a video on this topic and you probably already guessed uh, what it is we're gonna talk about ui and the ui guide that i promised you guys to make so here you go and if you like it don't forget to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment of what other kind of guides or content or interesting things you are if you want to see the most balling setup gaming setup gaming rigs that i use to produce content and live stream with which keeps this crisp quality um then uh, also let me know in the comments there's also links to my twitch channel in the description twitch.tv slash killer chris i stream almost every day i stream really often go check it out but usually Wednesday, Thursday, weekends, Sunday, and Tuesday. That is the set ones. Um, so yeah, almost every day. Uh, Monday is off. Monday is a crap day. Monday is off. I also stream sometimes Monday. But yeah, and if you're wondering why the camera is this weird ass angle, this is the real reason why. Because the little clamp here that I used to hold my camera broke. And... Now you put a little bit of weight on this. Bloop. Anyway, let's talk some UI. <laughs> All right, guys, we are now back in the uh, in the game, back in World of Warcraft here. So what we're gonna talk about is primarily this thing here. This is what you have been asking of Chris. Can you share the recourse? Can you share this? Can you share that? Can you share the input string? This is not a weak oral. I do use weak auras as well, and weak auras are really great. They're easy to share for specific boss mechanics as well. Great tool, super great tool. Um, also, the yeah, if, I'll go over the most of the things, but like most of what I use to like move stuff around. So uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is tell me when. So if you have tell me when installed, you can open the interface by typing typing slash tell me when to bring up the options. And that brings up the option. As you can see, I have a bunch of icons here. I have to track things on my target over here. Uh, extra bus fight mechanics, everything here. Right now, I have the uh, the buff in Horrific Visions tracked over here. Trinket procs and stuff over here. Other character props you uh, want to keep an eye on. That could be like Warriors in Rage. And I have in Venom and Elaborate Planning tracked over here. Just to like know, okay, when is up. Then uh, here I have my uh, Razor Call. So uh, here you can see like uh, it's just a cooldown of my Razor Call I have here. And it's nice and easy to track. On the target I have the stacks of the Razor Call. So um, let's say you want to set up a, um, a button to track something here or create a new thing. So the first thing you want to do that's just going to be like one bar with four of these here. So um, Let's just try and open what click one of the icon types if you want to make a new group you go up here you click the icon and then you can see there's icon options there's group option and general option in um in the group option we can go and create a new group so what we're gonna do here i just lazy don't do this guys name your groups but uh for the sake of it we're just gonna create new profile group Boop. and now we have a new group, and if we move this out of the way, you can see, hey, it's right here in the middle. So we're going to move this up here, and we are going to click on icon. Now I can load it, and we click on this one here. Boom. So I can type. Here you can see all the different things we want to track. If you want to track a spell cooldown, item cooldown, unit cooldown, and internal cooldowns as well here um there's a lot of things here reactive abilities you can also track that would be good for execute yes and post debuffs that's pretty much what we want to do here um so uh what we want um uh, just for basics here you want to set up um to track your cooldowns uh cooldowns are really important to keep track of so you know when they're ready and it's nice to have that centered out 
like semi-large icons that you can easily see. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to go and track a spell cooldown. Normally, this ignores global cooldown. So if you wanted to uh, show global cooldown as well, you can check this one here. Don't ignore GCD. You can have a range check or a power check as well. So what we're going to do here is that we can try ben Vendetta. I already have Vendetta up. But this is just for demonstration purposes. So uh, make sure that you don't just click into so Click over here, then it's going to finish off and finish off as semicolon. If you want it to track multiple uh, spells, just say, oh, but if I'm an outlaw spec, then you can type adrenaline rush here and finish it off with a semicolon. As long as you finish each of these items with a semicolon, then the uh, program, the Lua script that runs this add-on knows that, okay, different abilities, and then we can just put them in. Um, what we can do here as well, we can check, uh, okay, do we want it over in range? Then we can check this one here. Then it says out of range. They can see in range, out of range. So we can like make sh change the opacity or the transparency of the icon when we're out of range. So if it's on, if it's out of range now, the vendetta now it will be half visible. When it's in range, it will be fully visible. Then we can see. Okay, it's not ready. Oh, hey, cool. If it's not ready, it's hidden. And not not sure we want that. But if it is ready. Then we'll, it will show both now. If we turn this all the way down, when it's not ready, then it's just disappeared. Then it pops up, then it goes pling as soon as it's ready to cast. That is a little bit useful, but that is not the most useful. So what we actually want to do is that we want to make sure we are having at least a bit of opacity or not ready. I usually run mine with like full boom, so you can see they are full on when they're not ready. What we can do here is that we can show timer text and show timer. I have these on. So this show timer would give the little shading that shows like, oh, your cooldown is starting to run up. And then we can uh, show timer text. So it gives you the actual numbers on, on the icon of how it is supposed to be. And the same we can do for the next ones as well. Let's just say, okay, we want to make sure there's a rupture on the side. So for debuffs, I um, usually go buff debuff. Cool. Here you want to say what to track. We want to track rupture. Boom. All right. We got to make sure we click it. Then it says rupture. Who to watch? So if we just leave this to player, it's never going to show, oh shit, there's a rupture on my target. So I use this here to keep track of like, okay, do I have my rupture? Do I need to refresh my rupture? So on and so forth. We can type either tar or target. There's a bunch of options. You target target, that is the target of your target. Um, target player, focus, focus target, uh, hit target, house over. There's a bunch of stuff here. Party rate, one to four to watch we want to watch our set our target so we are just going to put in tight and it is not a buff it is a debuff rupture is a debuff so therefore we want to track rupture on the target only cast by me check this one here for if you want to keep an eye on how you're doing if it's a debuff you want to know if that's on the tide to say the boss might be vulnerable uh then you can track that debuff and then you want to make Make sure this one here isn't tagged. Mages. Dispel. Uh, spell steal. Yes. This one we want to check if you want to see if... Oh. Does the guy have... Spells I can steal? Then you want to check that. Um, that's a bunch of stuff here. Um, so. You can either say any present. If they're there. We want it fully up. We can also make it hidden. And say. Oh now you need to put... A rupture on your target then it shows a rupture boom when there is no rupture on if it's if we want to do the other way around and say hey there is a rupture on and we want to know how long there's left on that then we want to check any present full on with that one although 
And then we're gonna show timer and show timer text. You can also invert the shading. So instead of it going from like slowly ticking out, it slowly fills up. That's up to you. But yeah, buffs, debuffs, and cooldowns. That is probably the most useful ones that I have uh, played around with here. Um, item cooldowns, also really useful. Tracking uh, razor calls and stuff. And I think that is going to be it for what I use uh, Tell Me When for. Uh, one thing I uh, do on this one here is that I have a condition on it. So you can go into conditions and say, add a condition. We want to say, if it has energy current player, then we can say less greater than equals to not equals to. Uh, but yeah, greater than, I want to make sure that I do not press toxic blade before we have 120 energy so if we go back to the icon you can see fail condition so it's uh, a bit uh, see-through when it, the condition is failed so when there's not 120 energy and yeah i have it set up with shadowlands between the eyes as well all right so let's just uh go into this one here group group seven wait can i go on this here and say Delete. Uh, I don't know. You know what? Easy way. Just, just hide it. We'll just do like this. And they tell me when. Boom. But yeah, this is how it looks. And I can just go in here and hit this training dome here quickly and show you. So see, I have cooldown on it. And you can see it's taking down. Same goes for my other cooldowns, and it shows stacks as well. With if you're tracking debuffs that has stacks, let's say it's a razor call debuff, and other things like that. So um, the combo points, the combo points uh, to uh, get those combo points. Those are actually Blizzard's standard UI combo points. You can do the same for Holy Power as well. What I use to move like things around like this here, you can also move uh, focus targets around. You can move anything and that is what the add-ons is called it's very intuitively named move anything so what we want to do is we want to go into our menu options and we want to click move anything it's a lovely add-on if you want to move the griffins away you can uh, hide them that is actually one thing we are going to do here so we're going to go griff one all right you can search for things you can search for combo combo point frame mover then you click this one here and then you can literally just drag your combo point frame around as you want. You can also do, uh, drag on the angles of them here to like make them smaller or bigger. But that is super simple, super easy to use. And before you close this, make sure you click this one here. You can also click the hide button and it just disappears. Um, but that is what I use for combo point frames. This is a rather old add-on, but it, it works and it can does anything. Arena partners, action bars, lizard bags. Uh, let's see if we can find some vehicle if you want to move your vehicle buttons. I also move this to move. You can even move the move anything window. But I also use this to move uh, my extra action buttons and extra action bars. To make it a lot, more, a lot easier and a lot easier to place. And this here really eliminates the need. Or if you want to use a just quick few add-ons and just install it. And these add-ons add here runs really light. You don't have to worry about poorly programmed Uyghurs. Happens a lot. I was like, oh, why can't I? Why do I only have three frames per second? Why am, is my ping so shit and... Stuff like that. That's because there's a little weak aura frying the CPU because it's just running an infinite loop, pinging, pinning the CPU at 100%. Or something like that. Badly coded weak auras is, is a bit of a problem for, for many classes or many people. Um, it is not the only issue WO has with the FPS. But yeah. Anyway, this has been like the add ons that I use to, uh, to go over my. 
UI uh, Vigorous. I use a lot of other add-ons, but that is the two add-ons that I use for UI purposes. Basically, the rest is pure standard Blizzard UI. And guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching the video. And it has been while well, it is almost three in the morning. And I will see you on the live stream. Don't forget to leave a comment. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more great videos. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Come on, Chess. You literally. All right, I I am in in a position here where I can't move. What? Right. Can I shuttle step to Calvin? Oh. <laughs>